going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one here with the bronco again got the first round of upgrades installed and uh yeah it was one hell of a round of upgrades um i have not messed with the looks of it yet uh, that's definitely next on the list but we'll go ahead and run down the list i'm not gonna peel the body off of here because it's not really going to show a whole lot and it's kind of a pain in the ass with this setup um inside i've got a fusion pro 2300 kv uh three brothers g13 pro direct power servo got some 90 mil desert lizard shocks uh the just for now so i had some decent tires on it to come up here uh, these are the wheels that originally go on uh general lee ecto turbines with uh proline predator crawlers and there are some green silicone inserts inside of them and probably the one of the biggest upgrades i took the straight axles out and i put in a set of uh portals they're still 10-3 portals the ar-45 p or whatever it is <clears throat> so That'll definitely help out quite a bit. I did this one for ground clearance just cause I was hanging up on everything the last time I was out here. But also these already had brass on them. I mean, I've got brass on the front and the back. Um, as heavy as the top end is, body and whatnot on this thing and it's gonna see even more weight up top once I throw a driver and some scale stuff in it. So I really needed uh, some more weight down low on it. So lowering the thing correctly with uh, these different shocks and having weight on the axles, that should definitely help out quite a bit. Um, I would imagine I'm probably still gonna end up putting some shock bands on the front uh, being said it does still have a bunch of top heavy weight to it I would imagine on some more vertical climbs it's probably still gonna unload pretty bad and the front end's gonna drop out but it's kind of what today is for wanted to give it all a test run with this first round of upgrades so yeah i think that's uh about it for now i don't know if it'll be glaringly obvious in the video but something that i noticed on the drive up here to the pit i need to shorten the pan hard bar uh i didn't notice it when uh i was putting it together but after I got the body on it and was walking behind it, uh, I did notice that the axle was actually pushed out a little more to the driver or to the passenger side than it is the driver's side. Um, swapping the straight axle out to the portal. Um, I think this one of the steering links or both of the steering links. I can't remember. I had to. I had to change them up because uh, somehow they're a little bit more different than I thought that they were going to be. But uh, I guess I neglected to uh, adjust the pan hard bar. So <clears throat> it shouldn't affect us a whole lot uh, on this particular test run. Um, but something that's bugging me on the drive up here anyways. So, yeah, we'll uh, give this thing a 
quick run around the pit here and see how it does. So I know that a good bit of this is due to just having better tires. Hopefully it's coming through on the video. If not, you'll just have to take my word for it when I say, you know when a rig feels more planted, more stable, just worlds better than what it was. And even without any fine tuning, just the things that I've changed so far, this is a whole new truck. I still don't know if it can make this climb or not, being that it's so top heavy. The front end is still gonna drop out and it's still gonna wanna kick back. Just the fact that it did that right there speaks absolute volumes. There's just no, no way in hell that it was gonna get anywhere close to this, how it was set up before, even with these tires on it. That right there is not going to be fixed until I uh, get some tuning done with the suspension. Like I said, I'll probably end up 
trying out. I think I've still got a pair of uh, these shock bands. I see if those help, and I'm not sure if they would do the job or not because uh, this thing's going to have a lot of resistance pulling against them. So they may actually require one of my little mini bungee cords. Those are a lot stronger. getting ready to say I don't see this pulling this section right here we were getting close but started getting hung up I'll try one more time but I don't think that's gonna happen here I've got the rear bumper digging into that asphalt at the same time it's trying to pick the front end up on the other side here. Yeah, that front end's coming all the way up. What are we hung on? Still got a hold of the bumper. Ah, and the tire's pinched on this side. Oh yeah, I folded that bumper all the way up under it. Yeah. I'm actually stuck right now. I can't go forward or backward. Well, there's your uh, wheels up Wednesday picture. Uh, since it didn't make it up that, I'm not even gonna try the top of hard line. We'll go over. Hey, uh, you know what? For shits and giggles, I guess I did try it the other day when I brought it out here. Suppose I may as well give it a shot. My goodness. Definitely got uh, a few more rocks that have been kicked down from the critter holes here. I had to adjust myself, kind of staring into the sun a little bit there. Trying to look at the camera and the truck and keep the glare off the camera. end it's just dropping out too much for this incline here I don't know what the angle is at the bottom of it here but I know once you get up onto the yeah I'm not gonna push my luck today I don't know what the angle is on the uh, section with the pizza slice there but I know that that next section up with the straight pieces, that is either 68 or 71 degree incline. Um, I measured that one and the hard section 
over there i remember one of them was 68 and one was 71 degrees but i can't never remember which one was which i want to say this one here was 68 because uh i've got several rigs that can make that climb but only two i think have made the one over here We'll move on to uh, the easier side over here. So I know I did that with this truck the first time I brought it up here and it did not make it. I don't know that it'll be a cakewalk today, but it should definitely make it. So the upper section on the left there I think is the one that is 71 degrees uh, as far as incline goes. Definitely not touching that one with this truck. Like not even when it's finished. that hook before goodness you gotta have the camera down here almost on the ground to get away from the sun hopefully that's in view i can't even see the camera at the moment pick the worst time of day to come out here and do this hey I'm pretty sure that's further than it made it the last time. Get off of that point there. Okay. I can't see. I doubt the camera can see. We gotta move. Oh. We're already at the top. Just in time to catch that rear axles hanging up on a rock there. Oh yeah, she's hung up good. Let's see, I think this way it might be the better option. Wiggle off of it. That's my bad. Couldn't see where I was going down there and got off. Got offline. Man, that point. Right there in the middle, you can kind of see that point sticking out. It is in the perfect spot to grab a hold of everything. Wow, that is a dead stop. There we go. <laughs> That is a, uh, a nasty diff hanger there, that's for sure. But aside from that, it definitely made it a lot easier. Yeah, we'll see how it descends. Maybe try to avoid that diff hanger if possible this go around. Even 
even for a really top heavy rig this thing is a lot more stable than it was before now that our tires are all covered in mud let's try uh, some wooden obstacles Ooh. doesn't quite have the turning radius that i'm used to also does not have any overdrive or underdrive need to make a correction i do have overdrive in the front portals i had forgotten all about that when these were on the base camp um i did actually have some overdrive in it so i wanted to clear that up so that would probably explain most of that if it was gonna have an issue on this climb it would be right here not a problem i don't think that i hit this obstacle the first time I came out here, and I probably should have. Ooh, the cows busted out one more slot. Too much longer, I'm not gonna be able to come across this thing. Actually, I don't know that this hole right here is even doable with it. There we go. Set that one back on top of the rope. Woo! This thing is a lot heavier than most of the rigs I bring out here. See if we got the breakover angle to get over this. Oh yeah. How much room did we have to spare? Mm -mm. Absolutely none. <laughs> Doesn't get much closer than that. That may have been a mistake. There we go. Woo! 100% guaranteed that would have ended badly the way that the suspension was set up before. If I wouldn't have caught it just there, it was about to end badly this go around. This thing actually looks pretty good with those turbines on here. Might have to get another set. I'll try this climb again as well. So, even though the crawlers look really good on here, and they're performing really well on here, um, I did already order a set of tires for this thing. Um, since it's not going to be much of a rock crawler, per se, um, I went ahead and I got a set of the uh, Pro-Line super swampers and depending on where you live and your terrain and the whole nine and preferences i guess 
this may be a bit of a hot ticket item or statement I suppose but I went ahead and got the uh, super swampers in the G8 compound holy hell that thing just walked right up that like it was nothing did not do that the other day anyways uh, so I've had a few sets of Proline tires in G8 and I've never had really good luck with them um, good for trail trucks like what this thing's gonna be but as far as like trying to hit some real technical sections on rocks um, and my terrain and my area I've had really good luck with the predator compound which is why all of my uh, crawlers which is pretty pretty much my favorite scale tire anyways and very closely top tier performing tire as well uh, predator compound all day every day i know it everybody's had their say so and even the manufacturers had their say so on optimal operating temperatures as far as temperatures outside goes i've run these things in 100 degree weather and they still grab just fine for me so we're gonna try another set of the g8s on this thing and see how that does but i think it'll be all right since this thing's gonna see more trails than rocks anyways so i guess if you're still watching here at this point what uh what tire or just compound whatever what works best in your area and what kind of terrain do you have? I mean, here in Ohio, um, it's the rock that we have is mostly river rock. Um, there's a lot of slippery, smooth rocks around here, and that's about it, which is why most of what you see out here on my course is uh, concrete, a little bit of busted asphalt. And then I've got some rocks spread out in between. But what kind of terrain are y'all working with? Are you somewhere out in the mountains or the desert where you just got rocks for days? Go out in your backyard in the middle of wherever and have a perfect crawler course any day of the week? Uh, some of the diff hanger oh it's making it worse you know, some of the best crawling I've ever had has been out in the Rocky Mountains and then uh, like up in Washington Oregon Northern California whatever that is Sierra's Cascades I can't remember Seems like all the uh, the mountainous regions, anyways. Some of the best crawling I've ever had. I haven't haven't been out to the desert to crawl. Everybody down there and you know, out in Utah and Arizona and New Mexico. Um, I've been down and did a little crawling around Texas and Oklahoma. It was about the closest I've been to something like that. But I don't know. I was just curious wherever you're at. If you've got it made for natural terrain or if it's kind of junk where you're at as well and you've got to scrounge up busted concrete and asphalt and pavers and scrap wood and anything you can get your hands on let me know what you're working with
Well, I think that'll do it for today. I've seen what I needed to see. Um, definitely need to shorten that pan hard bar first and foremost. Uh, that's really bugging me. I don't know. Got better than half the tire sticking out there and not half the tire sticking out there. Like I said, it's not a whole lot. Didn't really affect it too much, I don't believe. I don't have like a crazy amount of bump steer or anything, but boy, that front axle sits out to the passenger side too much for my liking. So I get that taken care of. I need to get this front end sucked down. Um, other than that, I think everything else that I've done so far is pretty well spot on. This thing did better than I thought it was going to do today. Um, I've got tires and inserts on the way. Um, for now, it'll probably end up on a set of the wagon wheel style deep offset and Jora wheels just because I've got a couple sets of those laying around even though these turbines look really good on here we'll see what happens with the wheels but the next big obstacle on my list for this thing is the the looks department um I'm going to have to spend a good little while peeling stickers and uh, tearing this body apart and it's going to get painted. I'm leaning towards regardless of what color scheme I go with. I'm thinking this is going to be another patina weathered rusty beat up kind of a look. Um, this truck's gonna get abused. It's gonna, it's gonna be a trail pounder. So I figure it may as well look the part. It's already a bona fide woods runner-ish kind of Bronco setup. So may as well have the paint to match. Um, also got a front bumper on the way. And then after that, lights. Uh, probably gonna load this thing down with lights. Um, yeah, and drivers. And then whatever scale stuff I come up with to fill out the rest of the interior. Other than that, I think uh, I think I'm well on my way to having this thing pretty well sorted out. Um, what it needed most, I have uh, already got in it. Replacing the electronics, the shocks, huge portion of it. And then as far as the axle swap, that was just pure convenience to have a little bit more ground clearance and I already had all the brass on these axles otherwise I would have had to have spent at least a hundred bucks worth of brass to uh, to get this kind of weight distribution with all of it down low to offset everything that's going to be attached to the body but yeah Anyways, uh, feel free to let me know what you think so far, my progress. Um, if you've got one of these early Broncos and have found something game changing that you've done, give me a holler. Or if you know of something that would just be perfect as far as scale items, shoot it down there in the comments, whatever. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and hope you stick around for the rest of this project. Um, the, the good looking stuff is what's going to be coming up next. So those will be the most 
drastic changes as far as video goes. So, hope y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.